Welcome to SQL Reporting Service. This is video number 51 and in this video we are gonna look at the formatting. I hope you remember last time we looked at the formatting. This was a part. Then this is we need to fix. Then this is the part which looks pretty clean. So we need our report to be something similar like that. More decent plus this guy holds the figure like how much what is the count and etc etc right. So let's do that. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm starting from the beginning itself if like anybody's new joined in so at least he can pick it up. So what I'm what I'm doing over here is I have uh, the SQL query okay where uh, I mean I'm, it, it's a view the product uh, by category and that view is giving me four columns and it's doing some math in there okay. So no 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 I hit okay okay so basically it gives me four column out right so now what I'm gonna do is on the right hand side like I explained uh, when you uh, have a chart you add a chart under the surface you uh, can choose any type of chart you like then you select you click on it on the right hand side you get uh, the pop-up and now over here you want to group the things by let's say the category name because that would make, uh, make more sense okay so you can see the below right these all are like uh, what? Okay, these guys are got set up. They got the category. They got fake names. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're gonna put a unit in stock in here, and it uh, it was gonna show you a sum. Okay, so let's preview that. So this is something where we uh, last time we started off, right? So now let's <coughs> take the unwanted things out so looking at here is I don't like this axis so I can simply delete this or I can go right click and I can simply say I don't want to see this so it's gone next thing same goes with this guy so basically we are removing that part okay now this guy I would like to give it a title a title would be uh, what do you want to call it this is uh, unit in stock okay based on category okay and uh, there is uh, something I would like to change I would like to change the property I would like to change as fonts or you can go like this if you want you can right click tile properties and from here you can change the font which is going to be 14 pixel and the general in general means uh, this is the position where you want to put up your chart so let's see right now it's in the center I would like to position it over here I can go like this but this would be crazy it doesn't make any sense it depends like how much space you have so I'll, I'll keep it on the top left and I'll hit ok now this guy same goes with this guy I'm gonna do right click and I'm gonna put this guy in right hand side corner so it will appear on the top okay and the font I'm gonna increase a bit more for this guy so it makes more sense what exactly it is okay so hit ok and let's preview it now this time we have a much better presentation okay <coughs> So we got like all the categories on the X axis and the unit on stock on the right hand side. But if you look at for the beverages, it is lying in between 400 or 600. But you have no idea what that value is. So if you want to be more specific, then you choose the uh, the blue bar. Okay, right click on that and say show data labels. Okay, let's preview that and you can see the exact values what they are holding up okay so this is our uh, units this is a uh, stock so basically we are displaying as a count okay next thing you can play around with like 3d effects if you wish to push uh, put some you can go like 3d and then you go ok and then you go preview so now you have the 3d presentation right and uh, depend on that it goes like plus and minus so it depends like what exactly uh, you want with this right so I'm gonna disable my 3d okay so it's gone and let's me preview again it looks nice uh, it looks more meaningful now <coughs> Uh, so we have done a lot of things now comes the tricky part the tricky part is right now I'm watching some 
of units uh, in stock right and I'm categorizing by category name but I want to go more in detail I want to see by product so let's see what happens when I say products and where is the save guy I save the button and I go preview oh my god like you have the exact count like which product has what but if you look at the X axis like you're all lost you have no idea what's going on in here right so let's fix that I mean this is not the hundred percent fixation I can say but it gives you a kind of you know it, it keeps you there now we have the interval property once you do that hit one and then say okay okay let's save that and let's preview it again so now you are able to see a lot of product names in here but it's not that clearly visible to you so if you do the zoom of 150 you will see uh, a lot of things like you know uh, what's going on in there but it's not that visible clear enough okay so now you are pissed off so what next you're going to do is okay I don't like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for like a new chart so and that new chart is going to be my I don't know uh, bar chart I'm so not the bar chart it's the pie chart and I'm get I'm gonna hit okay oh my god this is very much more more messier than I thought right so no 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 take that out I don't want this one click away why you are printing okay actually I've categorized uh, so it is showing me like that so actually I'm not able to figure out over here like what's going on so we'll go back okay we'll go back to the do you mind all right so again we're gonna change the chart tile we'll come back to what we had initially okay and the problem is uh, we need to you know the expand the graph onto the x axis axis I mean like to the horizontal side as much as we can and then do the preview now at least you can see you know you can read the stuff that first is Alice Martin for which we are we got like counter zero so I guess we need to buy some more stuff <coughs> I'm sorry so basically now you're able to see what exactly you want but this is again still messy right so you need to expand this you need to lower the font size and you can move further but this is the best example like you know you cannot use like anything what type of chart you wish you have to use a specific chart which makes some sense or which has some meaning to it example I cannot use the 3d funnel again because if I use it I will mess it up right I mean like you have no idea what's going on so in that case you have to use your chart very carefully what you trying to show and what is it okay so we are back to column chart and let's take these guys back and instead of product name let's go to category name and bring the things back to normal and look things look pretty nice and decent okay now this was an easy example I have bit more of time so I'll take you to some crazy guy okay and design and um, data sets we have a lot of things in here okay so uh, I'm gonna do the formatting again quickly okay so what are we going to do is I'm gonna what I'm sorry this is uh, a report which gives me an idea like uh, about the orders it tells me like you know uh, what are the orders uh, I had for the year less than 1996 it gives me a month it gives me a year it gives me the unit price and it uh, also gives me the total if I execute this I can see like you know uh, the total was 168 uh, dollars 98 dollars 174 dollars blah 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 and everything was like that okay so over here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to group things by month because my query gives me month back and I don't want this guy so instead I'm gonna pick uh, what I'm going to pick is the total okay so I'm gonna pick the total and I'm gonna preview it okay so it looks nice okay I mean like we are in the band and we are in the threshold okay the thing is it's working okay now we need to fix this uh, quickly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy out 
this is gone this guy is also gone okay now next thing title and what are we showing is sale per month sale per month okay pretty good take this guy and make his font a little bit high it will go as take it on the left font size will be 14 okay looks nice take care of legend legend properties legend should be on the right hand side top fonts should be 10 10 is good okay let's preview this uh, one more time again okay it looks fine but l we need to make some more bit calculations let's pick this guy right click and vertical access properties and go to the number this is a currency because so what we are doing is we are calculating the total uh, across the month right and we are going to show the currency but uh, the currency is going to be this is my country India but let's keep it as default generally what we do as United States next is show the value in thousands or so it becomes like this okay so I'll give you a uh, preview one second so when you do the preview it, you, you get an exact idea like uh, what type of uh, the money you're getting in or maybe uh, this is actually wrong honestly speaking because the actual value is 60,000 right uh, number I should take out the currency field it's a currency I said and show this thousand separator separator is good let's take this guy out and can I keep it as number show the value in thousands okay looks great looks okay because we are dealing with money okay so this gives you an idea this is like 60,000 okay this is 60,000 or you can if you want you can go back to your currency and uh, rather than keeping as number you can keep it as currency and take this guy out okay and again we have to change uh, this to United States hit ok and preview good to go okay so this is what the sale you made okay for the month of blah 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 now next thing as usual what we do is show data labels okay guys are ready control s let's preview that again and you have the exact values but this is not nice let's fix these guys right click series label properties and this is a number and this is a currency whoops say currency C and I have to go and change back as United States again all set all done let's hit ok let's save it and let's preview it again so now it is more making sense alright this is what we are looking for but there's one problem to it and the problem is uh, I don't know should I do it now or maybe we'll do this in the next uh, video but the problem is these guys are not sorted correctly or maybe let's do it right now let's 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 do quickly and let's go back to the design and this is month right you do right click you go to the category group properties and you can see where is it sorting it is sorted by the name of month and it is into A to Z fashion and that's why it is going wrong now what we need to do is we need to sort it by the order date in A to Z fashion and then hit OK and now you can see the December will come in the end see now this is the actual movement you wanted to see right so now this is completely fixed and this is right <coughs> so uh, we have done a lot of things in this video we did the formatting we did on the x-axis y-axis we did legend we did the title I showed you how to format uh, the currency and what sometimes which decision needs to be taken while choosing the report uh, right when we are doing the product so I hope this is the end of uh, this topic
and i hope you like this video if you like this video or uh, if this video helps you in some way please share this video with your with your friends those who are in need and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this good night and take care bye bye